This right over here is going to be your Friday workout and it is the dynamic effort bench press workout. It's going to last six weeks long and your first two exercises, these are going to be your other exercises or your warm up and your cool down for it. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Steven here with Team Euphoric and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys a strength training program that I wrote myself using the principles of Louis Simmons Conjugate Method. And for those of you interested in learning more about the Conjugate Method or learning how to customize your own training programs, I recently created a members playlist that you could check out right up over here. And at the time of filming this video, there are 48 videos with over 11 hours worth of program design content. New videos are going to be added regularly and it's the same information that I teach in my program design course. So if you are interested in either learning how to customize your own training programs or if you just want to help support the channel, consider becoming a member. And before we get into the breakdown of the routine, a couple of disclaimers. Number one, to maximize the benefits of this routine, you need to make sure that your diet is on point. And if you need help with your diet, you can either check out this video right up over here or check out one of the nutrition links down in the description below. And the second thing worth noting is to maximize strength and hypertrophy gains, you need to make sure that you're following progressive overload. And if you're not sure how to implement progressive overload, then you can check out this video right up over here. And this video, it is for members only. So once again, consider becoming a member. Now we're going to get into the breakdown of the routine, but first real quick, like the video and comment down in the comment section as it would really help me out and help out with the algorithm. And if you're either new to the channel or haven't subscribed yet, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the content. Now, let's get into the breakdown of the routine. This right over here is going to be your Friday workout and it is the dynamic effort bench press workout. It's going to last six weeks long and your first two exercises, these are going to be your other exercises or your warm up and your cool down. For it, we're going to be supersetting the dumbbell external rotation with the shoulder abducted to 90 degrees with the check press. For both of them, we're going to be doing two sets of 10 to 12 repetitions using 70% of your one repetition maximum. So whatever you can lift for one repetition, you're going to pick 70% of that weight. And we're going to rest 60 seconds in between each set. With regard to the tempo, for the external rotation, we're going to do a 4020 tempo, which means we're going to lower the weight down for four seconds and then come up for two seconds. And then for the check press, we're going to do six repetitions in each direction. For the first, we're going to follow a 3-1-1-1 tempo. So for the first part, we're going to open up for one second, press for one, turn the elbows in for one, and then come down for three. For the last six repetitions, we're pressing up overhead for one second, bringing the elbows out for one second, coming down for three, and then closing for one second. Once we've completed both sets, we're going to move on to the B. This is going to be your dynamic effort exercise. Your first step part, we're going to be doing the bench press with the bands, and your first set is going to be a warm-up set. We're going to do five repetitions using 25% of your one repetition maximum and following a 3-0-X-O tempo. That means that you are going to come down toward the chest for three seconds and then explode up immediately as fast as you can, and we're going to rest for 30 seconds before moving on to the working sets. For the working sets, we have 10 sets of three repetitions using 45% of your one repetition maximum, and we're following the same 3-0-X-O tempo. And for it, we're going to rest 45 seconds in between each set. Then, once all 10 sets have been completed, we're going to move on to the C exercise. This is going to be your supplemental exercise. And for it, we got the decline barbell bench press. We're going to do six sets of 8 to 10 repetitions using 75% of your one repetition maximum and following a 5010 tempo. That means we're going to lower the bar down to the chest for five seconds and then press for one second. And we're going to rest 120 seconds in between each set. And once all six sets have been completed, we're going to move on to the D exercise. This is going to be your accessory exercise. And for it, we have the L lateral raise to straight arm. We're going to do four sets of 8 to 10 repetitions using 75% of your one repetition maximum and following a 3010 tempo. That means we're going to come up for one second in an L shape, then we're going to straighten out the arms and come down for three seconds. Then we're going to rest for 90 seconds in between each set. Once all four sets have been completed, we're going to move on to the E exercises. These are going to be your other exercises and it's going to be your cool down and it's going to mimic what we did in the warm up. Once again, we have the dumbbell external rotation with the shoulder abducted to 90 degrees and we're supersetting it with a check press. Everything is the same, all of the variables. Once we've completed both sets, we're going to move on to the F exercise. For your F exercise, you're either going to pick an exercise that you're really, really good at or you're going to pick an exercise that you're not good at but you would like to get better at. For me, I'm really good at dips, so I chose the parallel bar dips, and you're going to do one set of as many repetitions as possible using just your body weight, and the tempo is going to be 1010. That means you're going to lower down for one second and then lift up for one second. And once it's been completed, no need to rest because that's it for the workout. And then next Tuesday at 2 o'clock p.m., I'm going to be taking you through the Saturday workout, and that's going to be the dynamic squat and deadlift workout. So be out on the lookout for that next Tuesday at 2 o'clock p.m. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and ask your questions down in the comment section so I could help you guys out. And once again, if you guys are interested in learning how 
to customize your own training programs or if you're just interested in helping to support the channel check out that program design lecture playlist series at the time of filming this video there are 48 videos with over 11 hours worth of program design content new videos are going to be added regularly and it's the exact same information that i teach in my program design course so if you are interested in learning how to customize your own training programs or if you just want to help support the channel consider becoming a member but that's pretty much it for today's video if you guys enjoyed the video be sure to smash that like button so know to keep making these types of videos in the future and if you're either new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet be sure to subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell is going to be uploading new videos every single day that's it for today's video thanks for tuning in and i will see you again tomorrow